All right. Thank you, Buck. Uh, you and I had someone who told us back when we were serving together on the House Armed Services Committee that we'd be projecting losses of $487 billion over the period of the next 10 years. Uh, we would have said this couldn't have happened, but it did. So I've always enjoyed our close relationship, and it's going to continue now in a, in a different form. Let me just mention a, 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 a couple of things here. Uh, one is for 14 months, we've called on the president to recognize the impact of the sequestration. Uh, I, I think it's in, been intentionally held down so people don't realize how bad it could really be. And, and as long ago as two years ago, when uh, Senator John Kyle and Senator Kelly Ayotte uh, got together with the House uh, committee and looked at the, what is coming up and what we we're going to be able to do about it, that was kind of the beginning of all of this. Unfortunately, when the president came out with a plan yesterday, and I saw the plan, I saw the 25% the domestic, 25% uh, defense, and then 50% the tax increases. Uh, that was a non-starter. I think he knew that. And just this morning, I think it was in the, in the political, uh, a press report, just this morning said the president has apparently instructed his budget office to restrict the release of information on the devastating impacts of sequestration so not to, uh, so, uh, so not build momentum in Congress to fix it. And according to uh, uh, Politico, this has infuriated some of the members of the, of the Appropriations Committees into maybe having hearings. Well, there's no way to delay sequester until the end of the year, but there is a way now to do it. And I applaud the, uh, the, the House Committee uh, and Kelly Ayotte for the work that they've done. And that's what this is all about today. This is a way of doing it without cutting defenses, without cutting domestic, and with, uh, without raising taxes. If sequester is allowed to take place and the continued resolution is not fixed, the Department of Defense stands to waste billions of dollars. I like the way that Admiral Winnefield uh, said it the other day, the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs. He said, and this is a quote, he said, there could be, for the first time in his career, his long career, instances where we may be asked to respond to a crisis, we will have to say we cannot do it. Well, uh, I, I would like to say that where I'm really pleased with the committee that, that we have, the minority there in the in the Senate. Uh, we have a lot of talent there. We're going to use all that talent. We have people that are heading up our six uh, committees as uh, Senators Sessions, McCain, Graham, Ayotte, Wicker, Fisher, and others on the committee. So it's going to be my strategy and has been in the past to use this talent to make sure that they are the ones who are going to be driving this and it's not, certainly not going to be a one-man show. With that, clearly, Senator Ayotte's the one who's been uh, driving this so far and with that, I'd like to have her come forth with the, the, the vote, the, the, the bill that will be the AOP bill in the, in the Senate and explain what we're going to be doing with that.